Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to conclude the quarterfinal round for the Lightning Assault Tournament. We have three beautiful matches coming up in this video. Starting us off with Storacosaurus going up against the OG Triceratops. Clash of the Centrosaurid Brothers here between Monoclonius and Centrosaurus. We will conclude the quarterfinal round with Chomp taking on Pachyrhinosaurus. Hope you're stoked for those matches. And without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup. Okie dokie then, in the red corner, in the Alpha Arena, we got a Storacosaurus. Storacosaurus, the only goal to survive round one. The Pentaceratops fell. And the orange Triceratops fell as well. In fact, the Pentaceratops fell to this Triceratops in the blue corner. It's the OG itself. It's the Triceratops. Very impressed with this Triceratops I was against the Pentaceratops. Can it spring another surprise and defeat the only gold left in this tournament? Storacosaurus is not just the only gold, I would probably say it's the favourite in this tournament. Well, we gotta have a mirror match. Oop, we start with a tie. Ooh, Storacosaurus getting off the lightning spear. Just the start they would want. Decent start there, getting that defense boost going as well. It'll make Storacosaurus harder to hit. Well, it'll make it take less damage. And well, Triceratops, by the look of it, is not going to get a hit. This Storacosaurus is cleaning house so far. A strong start from the green spiked monster. Oh, look at that! Triceratops hanging on by a thread. Can he land a hit though? The answer to that, oh, well, is a no, but it's a tag team, so the Triceratops will still be in it. Of course, he's probably going to need about three or four hits just to just to kill the Storacosaurus, so... Yeah, I'm probably going to say Storacosaurus has got this in the back. Unless Random Number Generator wants to put a hole in that back. And maybe, just maybe, Random Number Generator... Yeah, look at that. But Triceratops has a half-decent crit. Like, it's not like one of those lightning dinosaurs where all the moves are balanced like Storacosaurus. But I tell you what, though, Triceratops not going down without a fight. But look at the insignificant damage because of the defense boost, maxed up defense boost, and this Storacosaurus' defense type. This combo is what basically... This combo was basically the reason the para won the grass tournament. Oh, it's re oh yeah, it's revival type. Look at this, the Triceratops is hanging on by a thread. Can he do it? Okay, no, he's definitely dead. <laughs> Man, the that Triceratops showed real resiliency after such a poor start. But Storacosaurus just well had plenty in the tank to finish the job and take the one 0 lead. Let's say that Triceratops just did not want to die. It got protected by tag team, it had the revival type effect. <laughs> Third time of asking, Storacosaurus does indeed get the job done. Let's not count the Triceratops out yet, it can still turn this around. So let's see if it will turn this around in round two. Right, round two, will the Storacosaurus continue its impressive form in this match? Or can the Triceratops get one back? Well, for the Triceratops to get pull this back, he's gonna need to start better than he did in the, in the first round. Because the Storacosaurus, once the double defense boost activated, the Storacosaurus was pretty comfortable. Ooh, that's a tie. The ties might favor the Triceratops more. Ooh, but that's not the start he wants. The Storacosaurus, however, will take that start all day long. Getting the first hit, getting that defense boost going yet again. Okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, Stratosaurus is gonna win. Lightning Spear coming in is not gonna be enough to kill the Triceratops, but it's gonna put the Stratosaurus in a very strong position to win this match. Ah, oh, poor Triceratops. 
Like, it, it did so well against the Pentaceratops, but it just has not got going in this match at all. And yeah, there it is. Oh, no, it's not. Nope, nope. Tag team coming in here. At least we get to see tag team. You know, there's a consolation prize for the Triceratops. The tag team there stopping the Saracosaurus from winning, but, well, how long is that going to last? And yet, yeah, there it is. Wow. Staracosaurus completely dominant in this match. Steamrolling the Triceratops out of the tournament. And advance into the semi-finals, where he will indeed face the dinosaur that says no to counter blitz, the Alpha Ineosaurus. On to our next matchup of this video, Clash of the Centrosaurus between Monoclonius and Centrosaurus. Oh, we're in the Alpha Arena again. Seen quite a lot of this in this video, aren't we? In the red corner, we have the Monoclonius. Monoclonius did pretty well in his opening match. It's going to be another tough encounter for it though, because it does face one of its... Well, it faces one of its own in the blue corner. It, it should really be in the red corner because it's a red dinosaur, but oh well, that's not how the, this tournament works. We have the Centrosaurus. This Centrosaurus also did well in the first round book his place in the quarters, but only one of these two will be in that semi-final. Who will it be? Oof. I'm going to go in Monoclonius. I think Monoclonius is going to win it. Like, not the whole tournament, I mean this match. <laughs> It'd be amazing if Monoclonius wins this tournament. Well, it's not going to win with a start like that. It's a lightning strike from the Centrosaurus. What a start! Take it off his health already! And the Dromeo rush to come. A strong start there from Centrosaurus and Elemental Power as well. <laughs> well, can Monoclonius respond after that? Um, I think that's gonna be a no. And this thing is tie type as well, so a tie will kill Monoclonius. Even though Monoclonius is basically a tie specialist to a degree, and yet there it is, wow. Sendra, do not mess with the OG Centrosaurus storming into a 1 0 lead. Quicker than lightning. Centrosaurus 1 0 up. Right, let's get on with round two, shall we? Right, Dio then. Round two, can the Monoclonius strike back, or will Centrosaurus win 2 0? I should point out, I think the Monoclonius didn't even get didn't get hit in the first round against the Brachyceratops. But he's taking a beating so far. Can he dish some beatings back? Oh, he does get the first hit this time. Monoclonius finally landing a hit in this match. Not doing too much damage, but hey, at least he's got a hit. What he really wants is some times to get that plasma anchor going, and oh dear, we saw the damage this did in the first round. Lightning strike coming in, Centrosaurus re-establishing his dominance over this match relatively quickly. got a tie. Monoclonius. Ties could be key to getting back in this match. Ooh, getting off a wall smash. Monoclonius not dead and buried yet. Okay, yeah, Centrosaurus would be dead. He got impaled and rammed into a wall. Oh, well, I think Monoclonius is going to be dead. Okay, yeah, definitely Monoclonius is dead. He's not going to survive this. Not with a Dromeo rush to come. And, well, it didn't survive the hit anyway. Centrosaurus getting the job done. Monoclonius did put up a little bit of a fight, but Centrosaurus proving too strong. And in the clash of the Centrosaurus, it is the OG itself, Centrosaurus, that prevails. And given that you Centrosaurus is out as well, Centrosaurus is the last man standing out of the Centrosaurus trio. Now, on to our concluding match of the quarterfinal rounds. 
and that sees Chomp taking a crack at the Pachyrhinosaurus. Dino Slasher! Skip! <laughs> and the only to go in for that because they needed the screenshot. But anyway, in the red corner, we got Chomp. Chompy, chompy, chomp, chomp. Defeated the orange Triceratops in the first round. Apparently, Chomp doesn't have a roar in this game. And Chomp is going to be facing an old foe from the anime here because in the blue corner, well, you, you guessed it, we got a Pachyrhinosaurus. Pachyrhinosaurus winning the Clash of the Silvers in round one, defeating the Anticeratops. Quite convincingly, actually. Well, anime dinos, unless his armature, seem to have a poor record in my tournament, so I feel like the Pachyrhinosaurus might edge this. But, you know, Chomp might be the exception to that rule of anime dino sucking. Well, not with a start like that. I'm young Gira dies to come as well after this net crusher. Boosh! Whack! Oh, oh my! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god, hang on, how powerful is this dude's crit? Like, it's, it's not counter type. I think it is counter type. Wow. Okay, that was impressive. Oh, well, um, quicker than quick, faster than lightning, the, the chomp goes down. And Pachyrhinosaurus takes a 1 0 lead. I keep wanting to say Pachyrhinoceratops. <laughs> well, that was really quick. Packy Rhinosaurus, not messing about. Let's go on with round two, shall we? Well, can Chomp turn this around? The Packy Rhinosaurus started, well, came out faster than lightning. And yes, I actually realised why the Neck Crusher did so much damage, because this Packy Rhinosaurus is actually heroic type. I thought I thought it was um, counter type. It's not. It's heroic type. And. Heroic type means that the move that loses to your opponent's crit is stronger, and in this case, the Pachyrhinosaurus is paper move will be stronger than normal, because it loses to Chomp's critical move. Oh, Pachyrhinosaurus picking up where it left off round one, getting the hit on Chomp, getting the Anyon Guira dive going. Will Chomp get a hit in this match? Oh, we don't want to go rock, mate. Okay, he, gets, he got away with that one. He got away with that one. Don't want to go rock, Chomp. You don't want to go rock. If Pachyrhinosaurus gets off a neck crusher, it's game over. Although, Chomp gets the hit. That's his first hit of this match. Getting off a lightning strike. Can Chomp turn this around? Attack boost coming as well. And an electric charge. Chomp stacking up that attack power there. And he's going to need it. Uh, you get nerve every time Chomp goes drop because you know if Pachyrhinosaurus gets off a neck crusher, it's over. Well, Pachyrhinosaurus does get the next hit, but it's not that neck crusher. Oh, 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 hang on, it might, it might be over. Oh, Chomp clinging on by a thread. I just had a thought, if it got off the um, lightning axe in the first round, it would have killed Chomp in one hit. Wow. Yeah, that's all she wrote for Chomp. Just the Pachyrhinosaurus. That neck crusher did so much damage. Absolutely clinical from the Pachyrhinosaurus. Takes out Chomp. And advances to the semi-finals. Where he will face the Centrosaurus. Wow, some very fast, really quick matches in this session. Really quick. Recording for 20 minutes. I think the last one took 40 minutes. Like... 30 odd minutes really quick matches but yes that will conclude the quarterfinal round so we will have a look at our matchups for the semi-final and end the session like the one thing i pointed out before start before the start of this tournament is that pretty much all the lightning dinosaurs have very well-rounded stats so there's only like a few of them that have really high crits like taurosaurus Pachyronosaurus is one as well. And uh, Ineosaurus are probably the three that come to my mind so the fact that we're getting so many quick matches is very interesting i Especially those three match, the three matches in this video, really quick, all two nil wins. 
I mean, yes, they were one-sided and, you know, even matches would have lasted longer. So, yeah, that ends the quarterfinal round. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, ding the bell to make sure you don't miss out on future tournament videos. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. <laughs>